what are you trying to tell the church? Trying to tell the church to repent, sir. Repent what? Repent of their apathy towards the murder of God's image bearers. Apathy. Apathy. Oh, but it's not position. It's apathy. It's apathy. Yeah, but position-wise... Position-wise, they have a good moral opinion, right? Okay, right? But apathy is your... Uh, yeah. Uh, you see, when you stand before God, He's not going to ask you what your opinion is. He's going to ask you what you've done with His Word, right? Okay. You know, many people have a good moral opinion and they say, you know, uh, you know, I'm sure you're pro-life, right? You're against abortion, right? Yeah. What does that look like? I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you didn't do it. But what did, did, did Jesus say to those people that, that passed by the dying man on the side of the road? Well, I didn't do it. If you didn't do it, then you don't have to help. Yeah, but the, the position of the church is, uh, is against uh, what you are trying to tell them. That's right. That's their position, okay? But if I told you my position was I'm against people that beat up little kids, and then you went over and started beating up on them, and I said, hey, but my position is, I'm against that. Right? If your position is you're against somebody murdering somebody, we, yeah, I know, and you don't I know, do I know anything what you mean. something. I know what you mean, but the thing is, even if your position is like this, for some reason, you still do it. You, 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 you have your opinion of, uh, like, like your position is this, but then somehow you do it. Everybody's guilty of anything. So what? Everybody. So we just say, oh, well, you know. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. It's that's why we are like pleading before God to give us the strength to do it. Yeah, but nobody wants to do it. What do you mean? Now that is that is. Uh, now you have crossed the point of being judgmental now. What did God say in yeah, Matthew 7? Do what did God say? No, no I didn't ask you that. I said, what did God's words say? What did Jesus say in Matthew 7? First words he says was, judge not, lest ye be judged. Okay. Okay. Here's, okay, here's the thing. We are told to say, like, uh, our position should be like, we are against uh, hate. Who among us doesn't hate? Your position, your position is you don't want to hate. That's your position. So do you repent in it but or you stay you, in you, it? You, you do, you do. What does but, repentance no, 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 look like? I mean, but do you hate? What does repent? No, I don't hate, tell you the truth. But that's okay. All right. You what, what? are the most saintly man I have ever seen. No, actually it just, <laughs> no, actually it just takes surrendering to God's will. Yeah. Okay. But, but, we are still in this carnal body, man. We are weak. No, I, I, look, I misspoke, okay? Yes, I do hate. All right? I hate that which yes. God hates. All right? And God hates this. Yeah. Okay? And, and what's worse is he hates those who do it. Okay? Do you know, statistic-wise, two out of every three women in here have done this? I don't know. Well, I'm telling you. That's what the statistics that say. That is sad. That is sad. But what okay. does it mean? Do you Which say, well, that is belong? sad? Which church do you belong? We have a home church. Okay. Even home church. Here in America. Even in your church. There is like breakdown of marriage. Not there in our church. Divorce. Not in our church. But that's okay. Maybe because there are like uh, only five of you. But I mean, in a church this big, you cannot say that everybody should not have like a a divorce now what is the our position you know how much how much money they spend on like counseling that is a very very like oh so this is about money it's no 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 hold on hold on look you have to hire people who study this much about preventing divorce they are like let's say they study well, first off, you don't have to hire anybody to prevent divorce. You have to have your people submitting to God's will. Okay? Yeah, but, but what I mean is this, this, uh, this church, this big, 
You cannot have everybody so pure in their heart and so pure in their minds. Look, if you are like a Christian, like a year or two or three years, you don't have everything. You don't have like the tools. And there are points, even if you're a 10 year old Christian, you become weak at some point. And then you do something that is terrible. And then what do you do? Of you, course repent. you repent. Of course okay. you repent. That's but right. you cannot just tell every. Now, man, I understand you. Where you're coming from? I know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But well, obviously, you don't, sir, because you think having a good moral opinion is okay. No. And God, when you stand before God, you're not going to be able to say, "I thought you were God, and I thought you were a good God, so that's why I'm, I should come I, into I, heaven." I look at myself. I look at myself. Uh -huh. I desire to love God all the time, every minute of my life. Uh huh. But look, if I'm in like driving and somebody cut me. Oh, what a jerk. What is that? Uh -huh. You know? So let me ask you a question. You have I a mean, do I like this? I like that I said, what a jerk. Did I like that? I no, didn't. No, and you repented. Of course. Okay. Now but let me ask... Mean like, let's say there is magnitude of sin. That abortion is, of course, the higher magnitude of sin. But I mean... I well, there is a magnitude of sin. When God looks at sin, he doesn't look at all sin oh, as the I same. I understand what you mean. I understand, I understand. Because saying jerk is not the same as having abortion. But that's just what I mean, that if my own little way... Saying jerk is not the same as ignoring abortion. I mean, if I am in my little way, commit this, how, who am I to judge these people? Who am I? My well, then God, you're not obeying God's word. What do you mean not obey? My job. Who are you? If I if I was molesting children, you don't think you should judge me? You should. And I claim to be a Christian? You should. That's right, you should. That's what God's word says in Matthew 7. That's what I said. Read Matthew 7 if you want to find out what Jesus actually thinks about judging. He calls us to judge. Now I'm going to ask you a question. You have a children's ministry in here, right? Yeah. How about if somebody goes in there with a gun and guns them all down? Would you stand there and say, you know, we're against this. We're against this. Man. Do you think that if somebody do that, no one will stand before the kids? That's right. They will. Of course. Of course well, they don't, will. Don't, don't say that. So are those don't kids say more... That just, don't say that we just say... No, I'm actually, we're against this. I'm actually pointing out your hypocrisy, sir. Because you just got done saying you'd stand before those kids, but these kids, you know, I got other things I got to do. And they do. And they do. They do. No, they don't. Oh, come on. I don't know, me. Oh, come on. I, I, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. I've been here like uh, going 14 years now. I haven't heard a single word that they have apathy against this. Even with the case of race, for example. That's what I said. They have a very good moral opinion. They have a very good moral opinion. So I if mean, anybody says, are you against this? Your answer is, of course. What have you done to rescue God's image bearers? Proverbs 24, 10 and 11 and 12. With, I do what I can do. I didn't I ask you if you did what you could. I'm asking you very pointedly. What does your Christianity look like in the middle of a holocaust? Oh, wow, that's terrible. We want to prevent that, of course. Yeah, so what does your Christianity look like? What are you doing? About what? If Holocaust? this was Nazi Germany, would you be standing here saying, hey, you know, I would. we're against murdering I Jews. I would. I would. I would. You would do something? Yeah. 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 So what's the difference? Over 3,000 of these babies are murdered every day. Yeah. Created in the image what of God. What do you do? Uh, right now, today, I'm doing okay. this. You do that. You're doing that. I do. First, I, I I tell my kids not to do it. We didn't do it because that's uh, we practice it. So in Nazi Germany, you'd say to your kids, you know, they're killing those six million Jews over there. Don't do that. Okay, that's good. What else? Okay. And then what? Tell me what what does your Christianity look like in the middle of a Holocaust? Have you heard of Bonhoeffer, a German? Yes, I have. Yes, what I have. What did he do? He, he was fought killed. against it. He was killed because that's of That's right. That. He was hung. That's the position of Christians. No, that's the position of Bonhoeffer. That's not your position. No, no, no. no. That should be the position of Christians. That should be the... That's true. Yeah. 
Look, and that's why we're standing here. It is sad that not all Christians have the same position as Bonhoeffer. It is sad. That's sad that 99.9% yeah. .9 of Christians that don't have the sad. position of Bonhoeffer. That is sad. Yeah. That is sad. So what do we do? Oh, that's sad. Well, I got to get to church. No. No, well, you repent. You repent. And according to James, you bear fruit worthy of your repentance. You don't consider, continue along saying, yeah, but, you know, look at Bonhoeffer. Look what he did. Look what that guy Todd did. Look what that guy Matt did. Look what they're doing in the middle of a Holocaust. More Christians should be like that. Well, I got to go to church. That's why I asked you, sir, what does your Christianity look like in the middle of a Holocaust? You've told me, you, you, what, do, what do you practice? You practice pure and undefiled religion? Where, 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 is, where, is, where is the Holocaust? Where is the Holocaust? That one you are talking about? Over 60 yeah, million. Yeah. I practice it, man. And a lot of people here practice it. What does it look like, sir? Huh? You just told me. You tell your kids that it's bad not to do this. So what, what exactly does your Christianity look like in the middle of a Holocaust? So what will I do uh, more than that? What do you want me to do? Well, there's will lots of things to do, do sir. But the first thing you need to do is you need to repent. What should I repent, no boy? Your apathy, sir. What is apathy? I, can, I, I said I keep teaching my kids. Yeah, that's good, I you're keep, teaching your I kids. And like I said, if, you were, if they were killing six, six million Jews across the street, would you say to them, well, don't do that, that's bad. And that would be the end of it? You're right, so you, you would not do? be like Bonhoeffer. You want me to do what you're doing? I would like you to do something, sir. What do you but want me to do? But the Holy Spirit will teach you what to do. All right? That's if you, you're married and you have kids? Yeah. Okay, if somebody came to kill your wife and kids, all right, would you sit there and say, well, what am I supposed to do? My what am I supposed to Why, because your wife and kids are more valuable than these kids? <laughs> that's like, that's like, you are like, uh, you cannot tell me something what I will specifically do, man. I'm what asking else? you, I'm not telling you, I'm asking you. Oh, okay. You would as stand up and I'm defend your wife as and kids, right? As far as I'm right? concerned, I'm doing it. And these people What are, are you doing? doing? And I, what are you doing? I know they're not doing anything. I'm asking you. It doesn't matter. See, what he does isn't going to get you into heaven. What I do isn't going to get you into heaven. Okay. What you do is going to get you into heaven. So what else? Tell me, what else? Repent. If you repent with repent a Repent of my apathy? Yeah, of your apathy. Wow. Man, you're so judgmental, I have enough. Yeah, that's right. Like I said, read Matthew 7, and you see what Jesus said about judging people. And I'm going to tell you, sir, you're yeah. apathetic. You, you sat one. here, you sat here this whole time justifying yourself and this building. But when you stand before Christ, he's not going to care about any of that. He's going to care about you, sir, and what you did in the middle of a holocaust. As 3,000 babies die today, sir, go raise your hands. Read Isaiah 1. Read Amos 5, sir.